everyone and welcome back to another video so as you've seen from the title today's video is a Zara haul and I am so so excited to see that Zara have their autumn winter stuff in now it's so nice to finally be able to wear like jumpers and cozy bits I'm really really here for it so there's lots to get through so I'm just going to jump straight in with the first item which is this knitted bomber jacket and I wore this all day yesterday with the tag in it purely for this haul so I could link it really really easily for you guys so just for size and reference I am about a size 6 and I'm 5 foot 4 just for height reference like I said I wore this all day yesterday and it is honestly the warmest thing ever it's so unbelievably thick the quality is amazing and it's got a really lovely like silver zip on here and I'm just obsessed with it I've seen lots of people styling this I am just really really here for it I love that you can wear it so many different ways so I wore it more as a cardigan over an outfit but equally you could wear this more as a jumper as the piece on its own and I think I got this in a size small yeah so I got this in a size small and it was $49.99 which I do think is a little bit more on the expensive side but the quality is unreal it's so thick it's so warm it's not itchy at all i just love it i think it's very versatile i do think these will probably sell out relatively quickly so if you are wanting one then i would definitely hop on the website quite soon because i think it's going to be one of those pieces with the zara that just sells out immediately so this is the first item now i was going to save these until the last pieces in the haul because i think they might be my favorite piece but I just couldn't resist because I think I'm going to pop these on with this jumper and they are these shiny grey jeans and I know they're a little bit more out there. I think they are versatile so I have intentions of wearing these out for dinner with like a really basic white t-shirt but equally in the winter they would look really cute with a grey jumper like this one and some trainers and these were... $49.99 and I got them in a size 6 but I will just pop them on so these are the jeans on and I am just in love with everything about these jeans I think I'm gonna get my wear out of them I hopefully will but I just love the fit of them they fit me perfectly they're sort of like a low-rise jean length is perfect on me as well they just fit me in all the right places and I'm just in love. I think they'll be perfect for like the Christmas season. I think these styled with a big oversized white t-shirt would look really cool as well. Whilst I have these jeans on, I just wanted to show you this top that I got. I actually did get this a few weeks ago now, but I've just not worn it. It's been in my wardrobe. I'm waiting for the opportunity to wear this top. So I will definitely leave all the links to everything down below. But I just thought I would show you this, which is just like a one shoulder t-shirt and I'll pop it on with these jeans. So this is the white t-shirt on and I just love a take on a really, really simple piece. I love a basic in my wardrobe and it's nice to find bits that are a little bit different. So when I saw this in Zara, I was like, I need that in my wardrobe. It's just like a one shoulder basic t-shirt and I just really like it with these jeans I think it looks really chic and I've just never really seen anything else like this before so it's just got a nice ruche detail on the shoulder and then it's just the same at the back and this top was 15 99 which is for Zara unreal I got this in a size small I think I could have maybe upped one size I don't think I needed it but it's just nice to be able to have options to wear it a little bit more oversized. I spoke about this waistcoat in one of my most recent vlogs. So if you did see that, then you'd have already seen it. And I did link it in that vlog. I will definitely leave it linked down below as well. But I just thought I would show you in this haul, just to bulk it out a little bit, because there's not that many pieces to get through. But I just love the material of this. It's in a really lovely like linen material. It's in a really neutral sort of nude color and i just think there's so many different ways to wear this i've seen it really recently being worn with like a white t-shirt under it and then the waistcoat sort of open i've seen it over dresses and stuff i styled mine with a satin skirt and it just looked super chic i would say this does run a little bit on the big side i'm sure i got it in a size small which is like my normal size and between like an extra small and a small i do think it's a little bit of a boxier style fit waistcoat it just means it's a great layering piece for the autumn winter i'm guilty for a waistcoat i have so many in my wardrobe and i just get so much more out of them so when i saw this one in zara i just had to pick it up i think they also do have the matching either trousers or shorts which would look really nice i think trousers maybe 
would be a little bit better for this time of the year but I just love it on its own and I'm excited to be able to style it open with layers and stuff I'm really here for like autumn winter and layering outfits with this waistcoat I probably wouldn't style these baggy jeans with it however I don't hate it I just don't love it but these jeans are the comfiest, softest things that have ever touched my skin. I think because they are such a baggy, loose fit, it makes them so unbelievably comfortable. But I picked these up in a size 6 and they were £45.99. I do think the Zara prices at the minute are a little bit on the expensive side, but definitely worth it. The quality in all of these pieces have been unreal so far. So I could have done with them being like just a touch shorter. But it really makes it look like a relaxed fit. I had intentions of styling these with like really basic t-shirts. To have it like tighter on top and then really baggy on the bottom. But yeah, like I said, they are so comfortable. I would say they're probably on par with some of my joggers and leggings with how comfortable they are. They're in a really lovely like thin denim material. And they actually have a few details on them. So they have little lines at the bottoms here. And then I think there's some... On the back, yeah, so on the back here, they have like the lines going across and the pockets are super low. And yeah, I've just got nothing bad to say about these jeans. I love the colour and I'm excited to be able to wear these with jumpers and t-shirts and everything like that. So this next waistcoat, this has actually been in my wardrobe for a few weeks now. It's still got the tag on it and I've not yet worn it. I'm just struggling with how to style it. So if anyone's got any help or inspo then please let me know because I absolutely love it but I just don't know how I would style it. Like I feel too boxy in something like this but then I pop it on with a thinner like more fitted jean and it feels too bulky up top. I've tried to wear it open over t-shirts. It just feels a bit weird. It's probably something that I should have returned but I love the piece as an individual so much that I decided to keep it. But if anyone has any ideas on how I can actually wear this, then please let me know because I do love it. It's in a really lovely soft material and I just think the colour is perfect for like autumn winter. It has proper pockets here that actually do function as pockets, which we love. There's nothing worse than having a fake pocket on an item of clothing, it's so annoying. I love the back of it more than I think I love the front. The more I'm looking at it, the more I'm actually not hating it. But I don't know if it's maybe the shoulders are a bit too big for me. I'm not sure if I roll it up, does that look better? Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. I think I just need to style it a bit more to actually be able to wear it. But it was a little bit more on the expensive side. It was... $59.99 and these run in extra small small and medium and large so I opted for the extra small small and I would say if you're in between I would probably size down just because it is very boxy very oversized but again a great layering piece I think I will probably get more wear out of this when I start to be able to like wear coats and jackets and that sort of thing but yeah, if anyone's got any inspo, please send it my way because I don't want to have to return it, but I'm just struggling with it at the moment. The next item in this haul I feel is like the It cardigan. Everyone has this, so again, I actually did speak about this in one of my last vlogs that I did. And I picked it up in an extra small because there wasn't any more sizes and I felt left out because everyone else had it and I didn't. Still not worn it, it's still got the tags on it, but... I think I will get wear out of this again when it gets a little bit cooler so I can layer it up but this is honestly the softest thing ever. The quality of Zara at the moment I think is actually unreal. Everything feels quite thick, nothing is itchy. I've tried on so many jumpers elsewhere and they've been so unbelievably itchy and Zara haven't so well done to Zara for not making your knitwear itchy this season. But I will just pop this on so you can see and you can help me decide if I should return it and get a small or keep the extra small. So this is the cardigan on and I think I actually do prefer it as more of like a jumper with buttons but it's nice that you are able to wear it two different ways. What do we think about the size? Do we think I need any size bigger or do we think the extra small works? I kind of think the extra small actually does work. Like I said, it's in this really lovely soft material and I'm just obsessed with the colour. I think it's like the perfect neutral tone for this time of year and I just think 
I will get so much more out of it when the weather decides to drop. The weather has been so weird. It's end of September and it's still like 20 odd degrees. So all of my autumn winter wardrobe has been put on hold. I actually really do like this jumper with these blue jeans as well. I think it looks really nice and autumnal. I've just seen so many people wear this and they look great. So I had to pick one up for myself. We are on to the last item of this haul. I think this is probably the quickest haul I've ever done in my life. So when I saw this in Zara, I had this in one hand. They've brought out a new brown leather jacket, which isn't the viral one that everyone and their mum has. It's slightly darker and it's a little bit more brownie. So I was like, what do I get? But I was thinking, I've already got a black leather jacket and I haven't got a leather bomber. So I did actually opt for this leather bomber and I am in love with it. I think again, it's such a versatile piece and I think I will get lots of wear out of it. I do feel a little bit bulky with this underneath, but it's just in a lovely brownie gray color. I'm actually really glad that I picked this one over the leather jacket because I have seen quite a few people wear this already, but I think a lot of people have the gray version. I've not really seen many of this brown version. They did also have a matching skirt to this and I tried it on, but it was so unbelievably big. The sizes in Zara are sometimes so, so off, but I didn't pick it up, but I think it would look really cute as like a little cord if it did fit someone properly. It's giving autumn and I am excited. So this has probably been, like I said, one of the shortest hauls I've ever done. But if you did get to the end of the video, then thank you so, so much for watching. I will leave everything linked down below so you can shop it really, really easily. And I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.